Well, welcome to another run through History's Great Empire's Realm. Yeah, I am kind of getting tired of this game. Maybe I should move on to Rome Total War at some point. But, yeah, we're going to go with the Gaelic Wars this time. Since this is one of the campaigns we haven't covered, and I guess we'll up the difficulty to medium, you know, because easy is too easy for us at this point. We've got too much experience. Though I have been told the AI doesn't fight better at higher levels anyway, so honestly it doesn't make much of a difference besides maybe slowing us down a bit. So, yeah, we're going to start with this group. Food is scarce, and your small nation will find it hard to expand. The transplanting Gauls are your hated enemies, so watch out for them. They also own a very productive farming community. Use the mountain range as a defense against their cavalry. So yeah, we're going to get started here on medium. That's going to give us less resources, so it's going to be harder to get moving at first. Um, that's going to be the biggest challenge when it comes to like hard. So yeah, the Vasculians hail you, great leader. Our people have placed their faith in you to guide them through the troubled years ahead. Through strategy, diplomacy, and careful planning, you must rise to dominate the land. So yes, we control two cities. So yeah, not the best starting position. Honestly, this might have been the better group to start with, you know, on some levels, just because, you know, we'd start off with one, two, three, four, five, six territories. That's a lot of starting territory, man. Though that just means it's easier to lose it all, too, I suppose. Though, um... Yeah, I don't know why that box is so far up. Okay, what do we have to work with, so... Not a lot. We could build a city hall. Um, we can prove this. But an outcrop mine might be the better build at the moment. That way we can have more ore to support our armies. I want to improve my ore. Um, we got an upright mine coming, so we don't want to get too caught up in it. And a farm would be nice too, because we don't have much in the way of food. So I will build a farm. I suppose we're just going to end turn, basically. I and mean, there's not much else I can do. I guess I can offer peace deals to these guys. Um... Back, back, back. We'll offer to form an alliance with both these guys. I don't know if they'll take it, but we'll see. I mean, if they agree, it means I can not worry about so much about the home defense, but move forward, which would be nice. Um, do I want to get the armies on the move? Nah, I don't know if they're going to ally with us or not. Oh, let's see. We're at war with these guys. I will try offering them a peace option again. I'd rather not have to fight on two fronts. Um, especially since I don't have a way to upgrade units yet. Um, we're just going to burn this year building up resources. It's a sad waste of a year, but I fear it's for the best. Then we can work on making a medium mind set up and maybe trying to get some work done on that uh, offensive front. We'll see. Um, let's improve this lumber mill. And I guess we'll try setting up a small fort over here, um, if we can. Uh, I can build a large um, farm. I'd have to get a town hall to upgrade anything else around here. Great. Um, let's see. Did we ever get that peace deal with these guys? No. Why do they keep turning me down? Ugh. Okay, so they're willing to deal, maybe. Though it's probably going to be expensive. 291 food, 300 ore. Reject. I can't pay that. I'll try again, but our lack of resources is going to haunt us here. I just know it. Okay, they're offering a new deal. Okay, I didn't even look at the last offer. Darn it. I screwed up. Okay, let's see. Um, view offer. 230 food, 244. I still can't pay this. Um, it's They're asking for more stuff than I have at the moment. Which is annoying. Uh, 
Okay, we got the large farm and stuff built, so we can start, you know, generating uh, more resources. Okay, let's view this again. Okay, what's your offer? 208 food, 227 ore. I will accept, because I just don't want to deal with you guys. Um, Southern Gauls apparently have taken territory from them. Maybe that's why they're a bit more willing to deal. Um, I suppose I can try offering the... Um, Southern Gauls a treaty as well, just to keep them out of my hair for now. I don't know how well that's going to go. We also need to figure out you know, what we're going to do with our resources, but we don't have much left, so we're going to have to burn a few turns while we wait. Um, if they want us to offer them something in exchange, I don't know if we're able to pay it. Uh, 63, I, I'll accept. As far as I'm concerned, it's, it's a tree deal that's worth doing, you know, because it forces these guys, you know, to have to come over the mountains to deal with us, and quite frankly, I don't know if they're going to want to. Okay. I don't think we can build anything. Not with our current resources. We're going to have to kill time. That's going to be the biggest um, nuisance with this campaign so far. It's just killing so many turns trying to get something going. Um... Can we do anything productive over here? Um, can I build a small... Um, oh, we got a small fort. Okay, so I just have to send someone over here to start doing the upgrades, right? Problem is it's going to cost us a lot of ore, which I don't have. Um, okay, we're going to have to move the other unit over as well. So, yeah, we're going to have to kill some time until we get all that done. And that's going to eat into how much we're making, but screw it, you know, it's a trade worth making. If we can get a decent army stack going, going over the mountains means we'll be able to at least maybe get some conquering done on our one actual enemy at the moment. So, this is a price I'm just going to have to pay. And I'm guessing we're not going to have anywhere near enough resources yet to pay for this. Come on, let me into the city. I, I want to see what the upgrade cost is. Okay, so we're going to need 624 ore, which is more ore than we can even carry. 198 wood. So we're going to have to kick out some of the heavy um, infantry here. How annoying. Um, crap. Um, let's see. We could build a warehouse, I suppose. That will expand out how many resources we can hold, so we can maybe get that upgrade going. And I guess we'll upgrade this to a mountain mine. Okay, didn't start ending turn again. I guess we could technically send our army out to test the um, waters, but I don't want to lose my heavy infantry, you know, pointlessly, because that would suck. Okay, let's start assigning people to work this mountain mine. Or a person, I guess. And we can upgrade this to a large mine. Well, I'm all for that. Build me a large mine. And we could build a sheep farm. But a blacksmith would let us build, you know, basic infantry here. So they're... Probably better off going with that. The barracks would less upgrade the size, but quite frankly, I can't afford to have large squads yet. So we'll go with the blacksmith. Being able to make some, you know, medium infantry will be nice. I know, everyone else is busy doing conquering, and we're spending our time, you know, trying to just get an army built. It's, it's so annoying, right? Okay. One more turn, we ought to have enough, you know, resources, right? Okay, what we got going on here? View. What's their offer? Um, more. I know it's a bit weird to be demanding stuff, but, you know, we're in a position to finally build up an army that can actually start trying to conquer things, you know, by upgrading its size. Um... I see no reason why I should play nice with them when I can have, you know, an 
obviously prepared army now. Go over the mountains. Not, a, not of a huge size, but let's face it. This is a big enough size to be threatening to just about anybody. Okay, I'll view this again. What's your offer? 73 food, 170, or 37 wood. I demand more. A lot more. Especially, you know, if I'm going over this mountain, because it's going to take a while. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what they offer. I'm probably not going to accept a peace treaty. Um, but we'll see. This looks like a lot less than even last time. We just reject it. Apparently, they must have gotten most of their army wiped at some point. If they're trying to offer me peace deals left, right, and center. So it looks like after that last one, they realized, you know, yeah. war is inevitable, because I'm coming over this mountain, and I want their stuff. Um, okay, can we, like, um, improve the city anymore? No, I need a city hall to do that. Same here, right? I'd have to have a town hall, which requires 250 food, and 250 wood. And I can't get a lot of wood going right now. Um, I need to have, you know... Some forestry work going on to really build up the wood supply. And they seem to have a convenient forest, you know, right there. And I really want it. You know, because why wouldn't I want it? And being dumb, I'm not going to bother saves coming before I do this. Well, you guys got some Celtic warbands, so they got some medium stuff. I got some medium stuff. Problem is, I don't know, um, if they got archers of their own, if I want to rush forward or not. Okay, we'll be bold and really stupid. I mean, as far as they are, they must have armies on that side. Yeah, they got way more army here than I thought. It's all... Looks like it's all medium infantry. Damn. I don't know how well our infantry is going to do up in a battle like this. I mean, we're forming, you know, like teeth wedges, but this is a battle that's fairly even. They may end up winning this one. Like, this flank's basically shot. But it's hard to say who's really winning here. I mean, the archers are helping out. Okay, we got the battle won. Okay. I guess they just didn't have the heart um, to keep at it. But that's fine for me, because I really would like to take a relatively free town at the moment. Okay. Can there be any upgrades we can apply? Can we, like, um, start mining? Okay, they got a mine here. I don't want a mine, though. I want a freaking lumber yard. But apparently I can't form one of those here. Darn, I thought with all the trees around here I would be able to do that. Um, Darn, this sucks. This is not what I wanted. I mean, I can turn this into a farm at least. But I was hoping for, you know, some lumber. I need wood to upgrade my other towns. I mean, having a farm's nice, but it's not what I wanted. Not by a long shot. And while we can train armies of peasants here, peasants are useless. Um, yeah, I don't even have enough to upgrade this into a large farm at the moment. I mean, wood will, food will help, but not with anything I'm working on. Um, I guess I'll offer them in a, an alliance. I mean, we are working towards forming a border with them, and I'd rather have them on my side than against me at the moment. Like I should. Um, I guess we'll launch the attack over this way. 
I mean, it is the closest town. If we can get rid of them there, we can then cut our way north, hopefully. Okay, let's see what this um, offer is. I'm guessing they were going to want stuff in exchange. 293 food, 280 ore, 280 wood. I don't have that. Um, view, I'll, I'll offer again, see if they want less um, wood. If I had more wood to spare, I'd be a bit more willing to agree to it, but you know, I'm kind of low on it. Okay, so what are they offering this time? Um, let's see. 278 wood. Um, reject. I, I can't pay that. I wish I could offer my own terms back, you know, if we, like, this is what I'm willing to offer for an alliance right now. I mean, I know I'm a small power, but don't give me such crappy deals. <laughs> like... Okay, so we got a javelin thrower. Okay, we'll form you guys up the way we did last time. And just rush down the field, obviously. I know, we're basically artificially creating the um, Roman um, formation in reverse here. But that's what I can do, you know? And then we'll just rush down the battlefield. After all, javelin throwers aren't, you know, gonna stand up too well against us. And I don't have any heavy infantry to throw at them right now. I'm hoping they break fairly easily. Oh, they brought horses. Screw your horses. My neighbor is holy formed up in a way that will allow me to take care of the horses fairly well. By surrounding and pounding it. Yeah, it looks like it's going down fairly easily. This medium infantry is getting surrounded, same problem. Looks like the horses might punch through at the back here. Um, no, one got through. I honestly don't know if that guy's going to be able to really fight all those archers, but we'll see. He might, yep, he finally went down. Okay, those horses are being scattered at this point. That medium infantry is wiped out. That just leaves some javelin throwers. And I don't think they're going to be able to pose a credible threat now they're scattering like the wind okay so they got two um free celtic cavalry from um that huh well we've secured ourselves another town but is it a town that can actually work a lumber yard because that's why i want you know my gosh darn lumber yard thank you but they only train peasants here oh my god useless Um, you, I will offer the formal alliance with you guys one more time. I would like to have really big neighbors, okay? I mean, if I can have, still go around them and start conquering stuff, that's fine. Okay, I guess I'll spend, um, what's left of the year here, then move out. Let's view the offer. I can, they're asking for more stuff than I have. I mean, the food's fine, or it's more than fine. I can easily pay that, but 245 wood? No, no chance. Um, view, I'll offer again. I mean, if I have to, I can always, you know, use the improved lumber we're going to be getting from the lumber yard to maybe start making something happen there. Uh, okay, so I'll spend the rest of the year here and get that lumber yard set up. They didn't even offer a deal this time. That's fine. Okay, we'll build that. We will upgrade to a large lumber mill, maybe. Let's, it'll produce six wood. What about you? Three. So, either way, it's probably going to work just as well. So, we'll upgrade to a large lumber mill. That way, we don't have to assign more peasants to the job. And we're going to put our army on the move again, because, you know, why wouldn't we? But I admit, we probably should build up some more medium infantry to send over the mountains. I've been a bit hesitant on that front. I don't think I'm going to have enough resources to really do anything here. Um, let's see. I can build a medium fort, but I don't have any troop stations here, so a medium fort's useless. That's the town we were just in. Well, not that one specifically. It was this one, but... Jeez. Take me to the town I want to go to, damn you. 
those boxes can be really confusing because they can't come down low enough. I can't even build a town hall because I need 250 gosh darn wood. <sighs> oh, they just agreed to our terms. Okay, they're like, you know what, we'll form an alliance even though you don't have Jack Squad to offer us. I'm like, that. okay, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. It means we can form a small resource kingdom here and then, you know, pop a front in maybe over here or go up north and work on these guys, you know. Either or, you know, we can make this work. I just got finished, you know, securing our victory over on okay. these guys. Hmm, I think I will save Scum for this one, after all. I'm not entirely sure what they got there. They might actually have some heavy resistance. Perhaps. We'll see. Okay, I think it's time to take on our enemies here and wipe them out. They're going to regret picking a war with me. Okay. 21 of 16, huh? That's weird. Okay. I guess maybe they're reading the numbers off these overlapping or something weird, because seriously, where'd that 16 come from? I don't know why they didn't get filled back up, because we, we spent quite a bit of time resting. I figured they'd be back to full strength, you know? Oh, whatever. I mean, it happens, I guess. And let's have you guys form up. So, boom. I'm not sure what they're bringing. And I'm not sure I'd care if I did know, but let's make sure we got these guys all set up correctly. Yeah, I think this will do it. Oh, okay, so their final town had one set of javelin throwers and one set of cavalry. Well, damn, I, I thought they might actually have an army here, but no, they've got nothing left. It either all got thrown away on another uh, mission, or I crushed it in the previous town. And they weren't excited to go through, you know, almost all their medium infantry, you know, so easily. Well, good work, javelin throwers. I'll, I'll give you credit for the balls to come out and fight me, but it's just not going to be enough. Yeah, they must have a small fort there and just had one unit stationed. So they got some slight backup, but nothing meaningful. So yes, we've managed to more than double our territory, you know, in size. That's nice. Now to start working these towns over, I need a lumber mill, obviously. Um, it's one of the things we don't have a lot of. What's this Hall of Champions do? Champions be recruited, but what are champions exactly, you know? I don't want a bunch of useless units, potentially. Um, Paddock, what's this do? Oh, cav forget cavalry. Archers, I can use. A small fort I could also use, since, you know, it lets me build bigger units, and I want to upgrade to my size, you know, to large at some point. I also need to have, you know, some barracks to go for even bigger sizes, so I guess we'll build you guys a small fort. Try and set this up as a town for improving our size, though it looks like they got a lot of lumber mills there for now. Um, can I finally... No, I still have enough resources for City Hall, because I don't have enough wood. Though we, we fixed that problem, so, you know, next time we might be spending some time upgrading towns to expand their resource options. And get even crazier around here. Let's see, what would a small market offer me? Um, brings a limited amount of trade to the city and is a good source of gossip. Um, I don't know if I really want gossip. Blacksmiths, I think build medium infantry, but it's not what I want. Hall of Champions, yeah, no idea. So just let me recruit heavy infantry. Hardened Warriors, that might be more what I'm looking for. Um, yeah. Well, there's nothing in these upgrades I'm particularly interested in. I mean, this will let me improve the growth of the town. So I guess we could make this another, um, building station for, um, warriors here. So yeah, we'll build an apothecary for increased growth. I mean, it's near enough to the front lines it can be viable, you know, for doing something like that. And this place is already working on a lumber mill, so it's fine. This, yeah, we're building something already. Can't really change anything about that. 
And these towns down the south, you know, we've we've capped them without because we don't have enough wood. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll end out the year here in our current positions. Um, as far as I can tell, our alliances are still good, so we're going to have to go through one of our allies to get to a potential enemy. But I think we'll end the year out, and then, you know, start the next episode, you know, in this position, you know, with our new lumber mills, small forts, and all that stuff set up. Trying to figure out where we want to go. I mean, we could, I guess, backstab these guys. I mean, they've grown to a rather small power at this point, so taking them on probably wouldn't be super difficult. But at the same time, do I really want to do that to one of my allies? I mean, the others might decide, you know, if I'm going to backstab these guys because they're small, they might do the same to me. Didn't happen the last time we did it, but you never know, right? Till next time, then. See ya.